Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the Moroccan King and People's Revolution anniversary, wishing the Moroccan people further progress and prosperity under their king's wise leadership. In the cable, His Majesty praised the advanced level of the ties between the two countries and people in all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the Prime Minister of the Republic of Yemen, Dr. Ahmed bin Abed bin Daghar, who is currently visiting the country in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Yemeni Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of the President of Yemen, Abdul Rabbu Mansour Hadi, to His Majesty the King, and his wishes of progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. He also conveyed the thanks and appreciation of the Yemeni president, His Majesty the King, for Bahrain's stance that supports legitimacy in Yemen. His Majesty the King welcomed the Yemeni prime minister and requested him to convey his greetings to President Hadi and his wishes of peace and stability for Yemen. His Majesty commended the historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and Yemen, affirming Bahrain's unwavering stance that supports legitimacy in Yemen. He noted that Bahrain's participation in the Arab coalition led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia reflects Bahrain's firm belief of the importance of Arab solidarity and joint action to protect the Arab region and defend it against foreign intervention. The Yemeni Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for Bahrain's noble stances and sacrifices evident in its participation in the Saudi-led Arab coalition to preserve the security and stability of Yemen. He also valued the humanitarian aid provided by the Kingdom through the Royal Charity Organization, highlighting the efforts of the organization in the fields of relief and health care in Yemen. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on the occasion of appointing him Governor of the Southern Governorate, where he took the oath of office. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was also present. His Majesty congratulated Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali, noting his expertise and efficiency that qualify him to fully perform his duties. His Majesty wished him success in carrying out this national responsibility. His Majesty stressed the importance of meeting the needs of the Southern Governorate residents and to develop all the services provided to them. He highlighted the role of the Kingdom's Governorates in enhancing communication and cooperation and in strengthening national unity between the members of the Bahraini community, affirming that the efforts of the governors are appreciated. His Majesty expressed pride in Bahraini competencies and their contributions to enhance the development of the Kingdom in its pioneership in various fields. For his part, the governor expressed appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his trust and directives, aspiring to live up to the expectations of His Majesty the King in carrying out his national duties. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty the CEO of Halliburton International Inc., Jeff Miller, who is currently visiting the kingdom. 
His Majesty welcomed Miller, praising the historic friendly relations and cooperation between Bahrain and the United States in the development of these relations in all fields, particularly commerce, economy, investment, and energy. He also welcomed the existing cooperation between the National Oil and Gas Authority and Halliburton International Inc. within the framework of joint projects between the two sides in the oil and gas sector. His Majesty held the wide experience of Halliburton International in the energy services sector. The parties reviewed the latest developments of the international oil market. Halliburton International CEO gave a presentation about the activities of the company and its investment projects throughout the world, expressing aspiration to bolster cooperation with the Kingdom. Halliburton Inc. was established in 1919 and is considered one of the leading companies in the extruding gas and oil. The company specializes in developing technologies for extruding gas and oil in difficult fields and rock oil. The company has conducted an extensive study of Bahrain's deep gas fields and negotiations are underway to develop field resources. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa directed the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to meet with Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, to reach an understanding concerning the commercial registration fees due to take effect later next month. His Royal Highness directed the Minister to preside over a governmental committee from various disciplines to obtain the Chamber's views on these fees and come up with solutions with BCCI. The directive stems from His Royal Highness's keenness on supporting the sectors of commerce and industry and his appreciation of BCCI's role as the sector's representatives and as the government's partner. The Prime Minister affirmed that the government is keen on taking into consideration the views of relevant authorities, adding that it has directed the Ministry to notify BCCI about the fees in advance. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI on this King and People's Revolution Day, wishing the brotherly Moroccan people further progress and prosperity and praising the advanced level of the ties between the two countries and people in all fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar congratulatory cable to Morocco's Prime Minister Saad al-Din al-Uthmani. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghulaybiyah Palace the, the, rather the Prime Minister of Yemen, Dr. Ahmed Abed bin Daghar, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness held a meeting with his Yemeni counterpart where they reviewed historic fraternal relations and means of enhancing them in various fields. The Prime Minister affirmed that supporting Yemen is a duty and a necessity, affirming that it cannot be left to external interferences that aim to undermine its security and stability. His Royal Highness noted that the support of the Yemeni people and their brothers led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia will lead Yemen to support legitimacy and prevail in its war against foreign interventions. Dr. Daghar hailed the shrewd judgment of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister concerning the events in the region which reflect his political wisdom. He also praised His Royal Highness's wise vision which leads Bahrain towards more achievement and development. The Prime Minister welcomed the visit of Dr. Daghar, noting its importance in supporting the strong fraternal relations between the two brotherly countries. He hailed the efforts of Yemeni President Abdurrabo Mansour Hadi in maintaining peace and stability in Yemen. His Royal Highness reiterated Bahrain's support to maintaining security and stability in Yemen and supporting legitimacy. He affirmed that the participation of Bahrain and the Arab coalition under the leadership of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia stemmed from its belief in Arab unity. The two sides discussed the latest regional and international developments, affirming that the area is being targeted and that there are policies that aim to destabilize the country. They affirmed that the decision of Saudi Arabia to launch Operation Decisive Storm, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, has protected Yemen from the plotted chaos and mayhem. For his part, the Yemeni Prime Minister briefed His Royal Highness on the latest Yemeni developments in coordination with the Arab coalition forces. He also briefed him on the relief efforts to people in Yemen. Dr. Daghar conveyed to the Premier the greetings and thanks of the Yemeni President. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his hospitality and warm reception, as well as the supportive stances of Bahrain to Yemen, expressing pride in seeing the people of Bahrain defend the security of Yemen, along with their Yemeni brothers. His Royal Highness the Premier held a lunch banquet in honor of the Yemeni Prime Minister. Dr. Ahmed Daghar has had arrived earlier 
where he was received by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and a number of state officials. The mission of honor to escort the Yemeni Premier was led by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today received a number of state officials, intellectuals and journalists. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of unity between regional countries, hailing the initiatives of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, to support regional countries and maintain their security and stability. The Prime Minister asserted that the government's ambitions enhance Bahraini pioneership in all fields and increase the kingdom's progress and prosperity, noting that the government's perseverance and the people's resolve resulted in overcoming all the challenges that hindered progress. His Royal Highness highlighted the role of media and their responsibility in raising awareness about regional challenges, their dimensions, and the best methods to overcome them. The Prime Minister reviewed with the attendees a number of topics on regional and international developments. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Ghadaybiyah Palace today, a number of Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa's family members. The family members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for sincere sentiments on the demise of the deceased, hailing His Royal Highness's support to citizens at all times. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the values of communication in Bahrain reflect the national unity of Bahraini people, praying to God Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. The family members wish His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI on the King and People's Revolution Day, wishing the brotherly Moroccan people further progress and prosperity. The First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, his Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed pride in the advanced level of participants in the Mixed Martial Arts, the MMA competitions, on the fourth and last day of the second Open Bahrain MMA Amateur Championship held in Rafah Sports Club. The championship is organized by the BMMAF in cooperation with the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Khaled bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Association. His Highness praised the wide participation from Bahrain and the GCC, which contributed to the success of the event. Sheikh Khalid also praised the readiness and performance of the participants. His Highness con 
convened with the president of the BMMAF, Colonel Khalid Ablaziz Al Khayyat, to review the latest updates of the Federation. Al Khayyat briefed His Highness on the preparations of the Adam Batirov to participate in the World Wrestling Championship to be held in France from the 21st to the 27th of August. He also briefed him on the preparation of the National Mixed Martial Arts team to participate in the Open Africa MMA Amateur Championships to be held from the 26th of August to the 2nd of September. Al Khayyat praised the attendance of His Highness, affirming that the Federation will continue working to achieve the aspiration of His Highness to promote mixed martial arts. He also expressed thank and appreciation to the organizers of the championship. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to increase field visits to the regions of the kingdom and to inspect the needs of their residents, the Minister of Health Faqa bin Saeed Al Saleh conducted an inspection visit to a number of health centers in Muharraq where she met a number of officials and patients and listened to their needs and suggestions on improving health care services. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks as the Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,312.34 points, marking an increase of 13.40 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors. And investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 22.19% of total shares. 54 transactions included 2,051,000. 153 shares worth 389,671 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 